This next drill we call the Kent drill, and we call it the Kent drill because we name it after Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent was a great uh, second baseman, played a little bit first base too with the Giants and the Mets and a couple teams uh, during the 90s and early 2000s. And if you would watch him in the on-deck circle, you would see him do the same thing over and over. And it was a very interesting thing they did because you didn't really see that many other guys do it. But he would always take a couple of practice swings where he would visualize the pitch coming in right here about the, the top of the knees. And then he would take the next swing, visualizing the ball coming in about the belt. Those were the two spots that he would always take practice swings on. And he would always stop at contact and then he would do the next thing and get to the contact point again. Then after that, he might take you know, his normal swing. But what he was doing was he, was he was starting to visualize where he's looking for the pitch. If we visualize and we get better and better at visualizing what pitch we're looking for, it helps us to react better when the ball actually comes out the hand and it's on the way because your brain's already rehearsed. It's like taking BP seconds before you get into the batter's box. It gives you a huge advantage. But you also want to do that for pitches that you're looking for. We always preach to our hitters, look belt down. We want to dominate the bottom half of the strike zone as hitters because that's where the pitchers are trying to throw the ball, right? We don't want to be great bad ball hitters. We want to be great hitters at hitting pitches that we're going to get a lot. Between the, the knees and the, uh, the waist or the hips, that's where most pitches are going to be. So when you're in the on-deck circle or even during the middle of an at-bat, you know, step out of the box and visualize pitch coming in at the knees and a pitch coming in at the waist. That's a habit that we should get into as hitters. Doing that in the on-deck circle, doing it uh, in, even in between pitches, during it at bat. So again, the Kent drill is something that's great to do as a way to mentally rehearse and visualize the pitches that we're looking for uh, so we can react better once we get into the batter's box.